How's it going guys? Clutch here once again. We are out in Felsbrunn and today we're doing another tutorial. This one's on sheep, but it's going to be more than just a tutorial. Uh, sheep are relatively simple in the grand scheme of things, but we're going to be discussing a little bit about the differences and we're going to be doing a bit of a test to see if there's a difference in uh, the reproduction rates of the sheep depending on color. Now I've heard a lot of comments about this recently. A lot of people have been asking me um, to look into this. To be perfectly honest, I thought it was bunk. I didn't think it was true at all. But there's been a lot of people saying that sheep, if they are the same color, they will reproduce faster than if you do a mixed ratio of sheep in pens. So we've got our two pens set up here. We've got everything needed right here to feed our sheep and get ready to go. So we're gonna be doing a comparison. We're gonna put all the same color sheep in one pen and we're gonna do a mixed pen of all the other colors of sheep and see after a couple of days what happens. All right, guys, so it sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. I'll also be discussing exactly what goes where uh, in these sheep pens, so you guys can see that, consider it a bit of a tutorial on how that all works. But uh, yeah, we got some work to do, guys, so you know what I got to say now, better batter. Clutch simulations. All right, guys. Well, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, let's take a look at what we're gonna do here. So I've got a tanker here full of water now. So both these pens are obviously going to need some water. That's to be expected. Now, when you're looking at the troughs, uh, let's take a quick look here. You can tell which ones get water and which ones don't based on, let's see here. Water will always have like this concave kind of rounded looking trough, if that makes sense. So you can see this, just look how it's kind of shaped inside there. The food is more of like a triangle shaped trough. So if you're ever looking at the troughs, you wonder which one gets water, which one gets food, that's kind of how you tell. Um, now, I'm not going to give them any water yet. Well, you know what, for the purpose of this little exercise, we better give them water first. Because uh, just to, to even the playing field. Now, typically I don't usually give my sheep any water until a little bit in, I let them come into the pen and wander around and realize, hey, I don't have any food or water. And then all of a sudden I show up and I'm giving them food and water. <laughs> and they're like, oh man, this guy's awesome. And then you know what? I have no one acting out. Everyone is behaving as they should. It's perfect. So that's how I treat my sheep. <laughs> I'll give these guys water here too. Perfect. So they both have water. And now if we leave these trucks in this area, um, the water will actually usually just automatically drain out of the tank into the trough as they drink it up. So it's kind of a nice way of doing it. Now I've already put one bale of uh, hay in here. This is the other nice thing about sheep. They are really easy to keep for food. Um, you could do grass or hay. So you can see here, I've just got uh, a John Deere with uh, a pickup full of grass that I was thinking of using as well. Um, so this is an easy way to feed the sheep. Now, the other thing is hay you can buy now. So hay is always good to have as well. So I just picked up one bale and, oops, I just want the one, I need the one. And we'll see what, how much that gives us once we get our sheep put in here. Um, so like I said, the other one is around the back side there. I'll show you that. So they're really easy to maintain. You don't need to worry about silage. Um, yeah, like if you can cut grass, you can get sheep, no problem. And that's 100%. All right, there we go. Now we got our grass, our hay, I should say. So I've only got one bale in each. We're gonna have to add some more to that, but that's just where I want to start for now. And I may actually use the grass instead of the hay. So that is an option now. So we've got food, we've got water. Our sheep are ready for the pen. Now there's two ways we can get the pen, uh, sheep into the pen. Uh, this here is an animal trailer. So this is one way, if you wanted to transport them yourself um, and not get dinged the transportation cost, you could pick up something similar to this. This is the mid-range animal trailer. I'm gonna move it out of the way now. Um, if you guys wanna see a little bit more on that, check out my cattle and horses, and or horses video, I should say, the tutorial on that stuff. That'll give you kind of a heads up on exactly where you go and how you do the pickups and drop-offs there. It's really quite straightforward, but we're just gonna move this out of the way. I just kinda wanted to show you it to you quickly and remember to talk about it, but we're not gonna do that on this one. So um, instead, now if you don't want to do it, and you're not planning on dealing with a lot of moving of sh movement of sheep or, or cows or anything else for that matter, there's always a pickup location and it's usually right, you'll find some kind of a, a landing or something that leads into the pen, which is right here. And all you have to do is click down on your action button, whatever that may be, 
and then you're going to bring up this animal dealer menu now we're going to get charged uh, let's see if it tells us i think it should yeah it's a fee of a hundred dollars so we're going to get charged a hundred dollars per sheep that we have brought into the pen uh, for a transport fee where if we had that trailer we would not get charged that extra hundred bucks so that goes both ways of course if you sell or buy you're going to charge that extra hundred bucks per animal anyways so that's about that so let's start looking at how we're going to do this quick little test so I think this here, we'll do this one on this side, um, closest to the, the shop over there. This is going to be our all, all same colored um, sheep. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go with all white. Keep it simple. The top one, uh, the very top one is gonna be it. The other pen is going to have a mixture of different sheep. So we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, and I believe we'll probably go with, uh, let's see. Let me take a quick look here. Yeah, just to keep it simple, I want to go with about 40 sheep, and that's kind of a good game, a good baseline. I'm not sure if which one, if these are the large or the small pens off the top of my head. I think these are the large ones, so they can hold some considerably more, and even if it's the small ones, they can hold um, 80. So let's take a quick look. I can actually show you that while we're here. So underneath animal pens all the way over, you have the two different pen sizes. Uh, yeah, so small is 80, large is 250. I believe we're on the small, but I can't remember now which ones I bought. Actually, you know what? We could find out really quickly here. Uh, where are they? And there they are. So I bought the large ones. So these could hold 250 sheep each. Obviously, they're not all going to be displayed in here. The game caps the, the display at a certain amount, and then it just adds numbers into it and simulates that. But uh, yeah, anyways. Um, what else do we need to talk about with this? I think that is about it off the top of my head here. I should mention we are in the 1.2 beta. So these numbers that we're going to get out of this could potentially change. Um, this seems like something that could be easily changed with a patch or could be modded in to change the numbers. But this is the base game uh, with the 1.2 patch that's uh, in beta right now. So let's go with our white guys, our white sheeps. Uh, and I said we want to buy 40 of these. All right. So I will buy all 40 of these and I will see you guys in one second. All right, so we've got our 40 all white sheep over there. Let's run over here and we're going to buy 10 of each of these. All right, there we go. So we've got 40 multicolored sheep in this pen, and then we've got 40 of all the same type. Now look at the food already. Uh, food is down low. We need to fix that ASAP. So I'm gonna do that. Um, let's just, I uh, yeah, will use bales just to keep it simple. Now it shouldn't matter as long as they have food and don't run out of food, their productivity shouldn't change too, too much. As long as we're being relatively even here as far as the food goes. So I'm going to uh, work on getting these guys some food right away, and it should be good to go. So we'll check back once uh, once one day one is done. We'll see what their productivity and what their um, the reproduction rate is. We just get one more bale going here, quick. Oh, didn't grab it! Didn't grab it! Didn't grab it! <laughs> All right. So let me just take a quick look once we get this done and I'll show you what we're looking for there. Now I noticed that the cleanliness is already hurting for some reason, which is kind of strange. I'm sure it'll go up. I think that's, uh, if we would have bought one and let it go first, there we go. All right, so let's take a quick look here. All right, so cleanliness is currently at zero. That is fine, it'll go up. Um, like I said, we need to get the grass and hay up as far as we can. I'll get that right full. And then we're gonna be looking at reproduction rates uh the next animal obviously and then the wool amount after 24 hours and we'll probably do this over two days we'll see how that works out so you can see 40 sheep 40 everything's at 10 percent right now that's going to bump up relatively quick and it should go at the same time as well so i'm going to take care of all this i will see you guys tomorrow at around 10 15 and we'll see where we're at from there all right guys so it's been 24 hours um this is take two on trying to explain the ending of this um i did record this earlier and put it out uh if it was you that ended up calling me out and saying you didn't do a very good job explaining this thank you i didn't get the name i'm sorry about that um but i need to do a better job explaining this a little bit because it is a little bit confusing all right look at the mess the sheep's made all right so as you can see um we've got our all same colored sheep over here with a big mess 
All our mixed colored sheep over here, still a big mess. They have both created, looks like equal, yep, equal amount of pallets of wool at least. That's a good sign. But let's go take a look into the menu and see what they've actually done and then what the reproduction rates are going to be at. So we're gonna start off, we're looking obviously at our all same colored sheep. This is our large one pasture right here. This is one pen obviously with 40 sheep in it. Uh, cleanliness is down to 52, we'll fix that in a second. But water obviously is still at 8,000 liters because it's draining directly out of that tanker. They haven't really ate too much food, I'm surprised by that. But anyways, the numbers we really wanna look at is right here. So the reproduction rate is roughly a little over a day. Every once a day almost, you're gonna get an extra sheep in this pasture. So it's gonna go up to 41 every 25 hours. Now obviously, the more, um, the, the more sheep you add into this, the faster this is going to decrease. So once in 45 minutes, once this uh, next sheep is born and we have 41, this number here will actually decrease slightly. Now you can also see we have 213 liters of wool that has been created by this pasture. So that's what's sitting there waiting for us is 213. All right, so that is the same colored sheep. Now when you look over here at the large sheep pasture, this other one, this is the mixed sheep, you kind of have to think of it this way. This is four different pens almost. I mean, they're all in one pen, but you have to think of it as almost four different pens. So if we go to this, now you're going to see the, the um, white sheep are re reproducing every 100 hours. That is roughly a quarter, or sorry, four times the amount um, that the, uh, the, the mixed or the uh, all same colored sheep pen is, which would make sense because there's exactly four times as many sheep in that pen. All right. Now we go down to this, the same thing happens with the brown sheep, the black and white, they're all exactly the same. All right, so that would mean that in exactly four days, there's going to be all of a sudden four sheep that are going to be bred into this large pen. All four of these are going to have one sheep. Now that's all well and good, that's great. So technically, if you look at it that way, just on based on that merit, that both pens are going to have the same amount of sheep, however, since this one, the, uh, the one with all the same colored sheep are going to be adding one more sheep every day, that's going to exponentially increase the rate at which sheep are born. So it's always gonna be better um, if you're looking for reprodu to reproduce sheep to go with one, one color of sheep because they will technically reproduce a little bit faster each time a new sheep is added to the fold. I hope that makes sense. Um, the one thing that I'm finding a bit strange here, so are all white sheep are only producing, are producing 213 liters of wool but over here with our mixed pasture, we're having 238. So that's 20, it's almost a 10% increase. That's kind of interesting to me. So what we're going to do is we're gonna let this go for four days now. And in theory, we should end up with the exact same amount of sheep, but this one, the large sheep pasture with all the same color should be reproducing at a little bit higher of a rate in theory. We'll see how that works out. All right, so I'm gonna back out. I gotta clean these pens up and I'll see you guys in about four days. Well, three days, yeah, three days. All right, guys, four days has almost passed. Um, and there is a little bit of a difference you can notice right off the bat here in the amount of wool that has been produced. Um, it, it's almost got an extra thousand liters from one of these pens, and that's actually the mixed, uh, the mixed sheep, which is kind of interesting. But anyways, let's go take a look at the numbers. Um, unfortunately, the wool numbers you cannot trust because these things tend to move around, and then if they move, they no longer get marked down as um, a number inside the program. So let's take a quick look here. So as you can see, we are, this is our um, same colored sheep pen. We're up to 43 sheep now in that pen. We have a new one coming in only 30 minutes, but the reproduction rate now is down to 23, uh, 23 and a half hours. 23 and a half hours, so that's the numbers you're looking at right there. And that's obviously going to drop even further when the next sheep comes into the fold here in 38 or half an hour. So now if we go over to our mixed pens, it is still sitting at 101 hours. So it's technically a little bit faster still, even if you consider how many, just because we've added three more sheep into this pen. Um, now that's obviously going to change in four hours when all these sheep here have another animal added. So we're gonna add four more sheep into this pen. So it'll be at 44 in four hours from now. So that will even everything out um, and we'll start all over again. Now, technically this one here has gained roughly four hours as far as the uh, reproduction rate goes. 
So it'll be just about four hours earlier. So exponentially, it will start to increase slowly over time, obviously. Now, is it worth it? That's tough to say. Now, don't really look at the wool numbers because this is not accurate. Obviously, one of the pallets has moved because, like I said, okay, so everything that's off the side, they both have four pallets um, at 1,000 liters, I think. Um, four pallets each off to the side that they've produced over this four days. But the mixed pen has got this, uh, what is it? Two full pa pallets plus uh, one quarter, I guess it would be. And then this one here only has one and a half. So that there is the increase. You've almost got another thousand liters of wool this mix pen has created. And technically they are down three sheep as of right now, soon to be four. I find that kind of interesting. Um, I was not expecting that. So let me just reiterate, technically you are going to get sheep faster or more sheep uh, with a same colored pen, same colored sheep pen. And the nice thing is you can also sell the sheep as they come out every day or whatever it may be. You're gonna get sheep faster and they will. you can sell them off quicker if you need to make money. Um, you will, for the most part, you're gonna end up with the same amount. It's, it's pretty minimal. I mean, if you're talking 250 sheep, maybe it's a bit more. Um, I mean, you're gonna have to, to multiply that by quite a bit. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not as big of a deal. In fact, I think you may be better off if, you're, if you have less sheep to always stay with that. If you have lots of sheep, then maybe you go with mixed. Um, but however, if you have mixed, you're going to end up with <clears throat> more wool. And it seems like it's a fairly decent increase. It's about 10%, like I said, 10 to 15% more wool, it seems like, out of a mixed, um, a mixed pen. And I'm kind of surprised by that. So that's kind of what I found out, guys. I was expecting it to be more... Um, cut and dry as far as the amount of sheep you get and obviously it's not so that is all i can tell you for this anyways guys i hope you found this information useful if you did make sure you guys hit that like button um, as always guys if you're not a subscriber make sure you do hit that big red subscribe button and once again guys this has been clutch over and out